We're recording. That means we're live. We're ready to go. Uh, welcome, everybody that's uh, that's watching this morning, or excuse me, watching this evening. Welcome to Activate Thursday. Uh, my name is Jesse Allen. I'm the Senior Vice President of Marketing here at LifeVantage. And with me today, uh, Dr. Brett Brimhall. Uh, Brett is um, a, 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 an EC1. For some of you that are watching, you know exactly what that means. For others, you have no idea what that means. Uh, what that means is that that Brett is uh, uh, very successful as a life managed consultant and has done a remarkable job in building a team and an organization that that supports and uh, um, supports and helps people around the world with their with their help and is highly influential with, within that group. Congratulations for that. Brett is also a member of the Scientific Advisory Board um, here at Life Vantage. The Scientific Advisory Board is a group of individuals that are healthcare professionals, healthcare uh, practitioners. They are. It is a volunteer group. Uh, they are not paid. Uh, but they work directly with the R&D team, with the, uh, the marketing team, um, and also with our, uh, our executive team, uh, guiding and giving insight on both product formulation, product development, as well as how to position uh, the product, as well as the product pipeline looking into the future. So it is a highly influential and very, very important uh, uh, body within within my advantage. So we're grateful for his participation there and, and uh, his influence specifically within that group is invaluable. Um, Brett has been a uh, consultant with Life Advantage for, for nearly eight years. Um, and uh, that rank that he uh, currently holds is a rank that he achieved within uh, roughly within the first three years of his involvement with Life Advantage. So most uh, most in the organization that are existing consultants are very very familiar with Brett and uh, and his influence and we appreciate him being with us today. Thanks, Brett. Thanks, Jesse. How are you? I'm excellent. Thanks. <laughs> Good. I should uh, I should also mention uh, aside from all of that, Brett has become uh, what I consider, and hopefully he feels the same way, a dear friend, uh, and I respect and admire him and. And appreciate the conversations that we have like this, but also appreciate the conversations that we have uh, just one on one outside of this. Um, uh, it's always been uh, a highlight for me. So, uh, so thanks. I appreciate it. I remember the first time we met, that first your first event, and I had a nice chat with you and got to know you a little bit about you and your family. So, um, just huge respect and uh, appreciate getting to work with you. Yeah, well, it's, it's mutual. So, Today, today we're here, um, uh, a lot of you that are watching, um, maybe a couple of things, let me just kind of, uh, a couple of things. We're not gonna be able to engage with you in the comments during this, um, but, but please be active and engage, ask questions, like what, whatever we're talking about, put your comments in the thread. We will come back and answer all of those questions. If I can't answer them, I'll reach out to the product team, or I'll reach out to Brett, we'll make sure that those questions are answered. But please be active and engaged as we're as we're talking today. Um, we'd love to hear from you. Um, for the consultants that are with us today, or maybe if you've watched uh, previous Activate Thursdays, or you've just been involved with Brett and his training, um, he's highly influential within the consultant base, especially around Axio. Um, a lot of times when we think of Axio, immediately we default to Brett, right? We need to talk to Brett about this. And so we recently, as most of you know that are watching, we released two limited edition flavors in our Axial lineup. There they are right there. He's prepared. Uh, we have pineapple coconut, which is a uh, caffeinated version, and then watermelon mint, which is a decaf version of our uh, Axial product and a nootropic um, really, really interesting. And this is how we're going to start this off and kind of tee it up and get ready to just to just like be immersed with Brett's wisdom. Prior to us starting this call, as we as he and I were talking, most of us have the 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 we approach and think of Axio as an energy drink, um, which is not incorrect, but it's not entirely right either. And what Brett's comment was, Axio is brain health. It's all about brain health. And so it's a big statement. It's a bold statement. And I'm going to like say, 
Tell us why you say that. Why, why, why is Axio all about brain health? You know, I actually have to admit, I felt the same way when uh, actually who introduced me to this was her name is Carrie Williams. I was working with her son um, and Axio came out and I'd worked with her son for over a year. Um, and we, had, we were trying to help him in his social skills, behavior, his learning abilities. Um, I worked with him the whole year. He'd been doing 35 hour therapy a week on top of that. And Axio, after him starting that, like, it's just like the switch is turned on. It's like his brain re it began to learn, remember, and recall things that were in there. We just couldn't get them out. And I thought, just like you said, that it was a energy drink. And my concept of energy drinks, like many of yours, were these things. You know, these rock stars, these Red Bulls. And yes, I keep these in my office, too, because I take them from people. Um, <laughs> I yet have somebody tell me that they drink those because they're good for them. And drinking those and soda pop or sugar because they're looking for a feeling. They're looking for a lift. And for her son, the struggles he had had to do with how his brain was performing because it wasn't able to have the nutrients that it needed in the combined, in combined effect that helped his brain learn and focus and concentrate and then be able to recall. And so when I saw him, and I, in my background, my dad and I've taught physicians for over, you know, shoot, since 19, since he started in the early 1970s, I've been teaching since 1995. And so we weren't ever looking for formulas because he could formulate. And when I saw this happen in this little guy, I'm like, okay, so there's something different about how these formulas are made because we understand the science, we understand how to formulate, but why did we see those results? And so when I started wrapping my around what I how what I experienced in watching this, 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 this little guy come alive was axial is designed to address brain fatigue, right? So all of us have felt that. Like think of the last time you feel like you had time, hard time remembering something or you're, you know, forgetting something or you're just like trying to remember a name or where did I put that, right? Or feeling overwhelmed by like, you know, all this stuff going on in your life. That's a brain fatigue or just like not wanting to make another decision. That's a brain fatigue. Right. So if if that happened over a period of time, then your brain's in a non learning state and then it gets forgetful and things start breaking down. And so people are looking for solutions to for, for being so mentally tired. We don't have most of us don't have strenuous physical tasks like jobs anymore. Like, yes, some of us, but most of our job is done up here. And so if we're not doing the nutrients and in our case, the activated nutrients for this. The rest of us can't perform because most of us get paid anymore, not based on what we do here. It's what we do here. The decisions we make, the, the process we make, the connection, the communication all happens here. So Axial is brain food, right? So there's two books I'm going to mention. One's called The End of Alzheimer's by Dr. Bredesen. Another one's called The End of Mental Illness by Dr. Daniel Amen. And I want you to think of those words, the end of Alzheimer's and the end of mental illness. I mean, those are bold, like super bold statements. And both these individuals, like um, Bredesen's an MD, and he focuses, like his book is the end of Alzheimer's. And I'm going to highlight a couple of things. This is, this, you know, read the book. It's all good. But I'm going I'm to highlight because the most feared disease is Alzheimer's. I mean, yes, cancer and all those are very feared. But having, losing somebody before you lose them if you've, if, if you, I've watched my grandfather go through that. And if you've ever experienced that, it is just heart wrenching where they forget your name. They forget who you are and who they are. Right. That's, it's, it, it's, it's hard to watch. Mm -hmm. Okay. So Bredesen says this, we need to be working on Alzheimer's 20 years before it shows up. Right. 20 years. And what that means is, is the process of where in which brain breaks down. So this thing is, so we're not gonna talk about disease, we're gonna talk about brain health. What makes a healthy brain? Like, unfortunate thing about it in, in the world, like we know what good grades are in school. It's an A, right? But you can pass the class and go to the next grade with a D. Your ability to be successful at that class or whatever that what it taught you at an A is very different than a D, okay? So in medicine, we don't have a clear defined definition of what optimal is. 
what is a healthy brain? What is a healthy body? What, what is optimal? So when I even work with, when I work with clients and we look at even blood work, there is a healthy range, there is a disease range, and there's an optimal range of what values I'm looking for. So I want you to shift your mindset when it comes to healthy. Healthy is not an absence of symptoms, okay? Healthy is not an absence of symptoms. Health is defined as all systems working at optimal levels. So short answer, how well do you sleep? How well do you, how, how rested do you feel in the morning, in the morning and how excited are you about your day, all right? Because all of that matters, right? Because that's how you know how healthy you are, how excited you are about what you're doing. So Bredesen says this, when it comes to brain health, right? And um, he says this, number one, we got to figure out a way to control inflammation, right? Uh, number two, and that this ha most unfortunately, inflammation comes from infections and diets a lot, <laughs> okay? Um, then he has said, we have to address the decline and shortage of supportive nutrients hormones and other brain supported molecules. Yeah, that's number two, right? Number three is we have to reduce toxic substances such as metals and other biotoxins that are in our environments, All right? Those are the top, top three. So a short answer, you gotta get rid of the crap, give your brain what it needs. And most of us are not doing that. So what do we do? We reach for what works temporarily or short-term. Mm -hmm. So that's why people, when they're tired, they reach for, a soda, they reach for an energy drink, they reach for a, some type of coffee, like a stimulant, a big money made in that. But we know that that's not brain healthy. That's kicking a tired horse. Well, the crazy thing about what Dr. Um, Amen says about um, the end of mental illness, he said, we got to look at illness differently. What if we said it's, instead of saying mental health, we're talking about brain health. What if we focused on brain health and the things that we can control? It's a phenomenal reads. So if you, I, I think that should be, honestly, I think that should be like a book that's read in high school, right? Because you'll give us- End of Mental Illness. End of Mental Illness by Dr. Amen, because he helps us understand and demystify what brain health is. And he's a classically trained psychiatrist. The guy, I mean, he's, 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 he's gone through all the medical. And he talks about why- we are where we are as a nation. But bottom line is, guys, the, I'm going to give you the what to do. If you, I still think it's important to know the why, but we're going to give you the what to do. So one thing I, I've, I've really fallen in love with Life Vantage is the fact is like, I know all the why, right? And I, I, that's just kind of how my mind works at the field I'm in, um, especially the perspective I have. Um, it's a very weird perspective in a sense. Um, I'm a chiropractor. So if we think foundationally stru structure first, but my dad and I developed a system called the six steps to wellness. Foundationally, it's structure, like physical form. Okay. And then the second is nutritional, right? Uh, understanding what the body needs and what affects the body, addressing allergies and, and sensitivities, decreasing toxic burdens and overloads, reevaluating limiting belief systems and reframing those, right? So I, there's a, and then retraining your body for allergies and sensitivity. There's, there's specific ways we look at the whole person. When you read Dr. Amen, he'll tell you about things to basically do and things to avoid. So what I have loved about Life Vantage is simplify what my dad and I do from the nutritional standpoint, like the companies we work for, some of them have up to 500 products, like 500 different products, right? There's not 500 different types of people when it comes to biochemistry. So what Life Vantage does is we get, the, we get to use products that are mammal specific based upon improving systems. So when we're talking about brain health, right? We, we don't have to guess if Axio is gonna improve brain performance. It's a nootropic. It's, it's designed to have the right ingredients and the right ratios to help brain performance. Because when a brain can learn, it can relearn and it can recall and remember. So the success of us in school or in business is learning a task being successful at that task and then integrating with new tasks and then communicating the, 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 that experience with other people. That's your brain's job, not only from a thinking perspective, but controlling your whole body. And Axial gives your brain what it needs and activate those systems so it can do just that. So for me, what that means, Jesse, is that not only do we, can somebody be like, be able to learn and be more successful at their job, what that equals is confidence as an individual that spills over to who they are. 
right? So for a child that can feel successful at school, it, it spills over into their relationship, it spills into their communication with their parents, and then it spills into what career path they choose to have, what, what relationships they might have. Um, because if they can be successful there, they're not having to reach for an over-the-counter or a, 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 um, a recreational stimulant that might take them down a different path. And that's truly a healthy brain makes healthier decisions. So to me, Axio gives us that ability, had given me as a clinician, a better tool to use to help improve people's brain health, which then helps them improve their life. And that's truly the truth with really all the products. Yeah. Um, well, we could just end there. Uh, <laughs> perfect. Um, Help, like maybe talk a little bit about, um, you know, you made the comment earlier, you don't really need to understand the why, like you understand the why, but, but, you know, those that are watching, you really don't need to understand the why, you just need to understand that it's actually doing it, and it's, and it's improving brain health, so that ultimately, to your point, it's just improving quality of life, it's, I love what you said about it's improving confidence, um, which makes a lot of sense, and I think, you for certain you saw that specifically with Carrie's uh, boys. Is if we go back to the beginning example, um, maybe a question. We've got the two different formulas, and the primary difference between the two formulas is caffeine versus not. Um, I'm assuming that with the boys, uh, you were using the non-caffeinated version. Yeah, the caffeinated. Caffeinated. Mm -hmm. um, maybe walk through like like in in the, the you know Brett wasn't prepared for this but he's always prepared like like kind of break down like a little bit of the formula and clearly there's a synergistic nature of it but what are some of those key materials within the formula or ingredients that are really lending themselves to brain health yeah okay. and what i mean by that you don't have to know like everything in it like the funny thing about exercise i just want people to do it yeah <laughs> i don't even really care what they do sometimes like just move your body right you you read all the scientific articles you want and like man exercise is really good for me and never do it and you get zero benefit sorry guys it just doesn't work that way right well the same thing is true with this this nutrition I wish people would study their their food choices as much as they study a nutritional supplement was it safe for me is it good for me well you should probably look at the labels of your food right yeah. um and I'll just not go on that tangent but like when it comes to like Yes, I want people to understand. For there's other people that want to understand why. I think the more you know, the more powerful that can be, and the more, the better results you get. We call it the placebo effect in medicine. It's an effect, guys. Your confidence in what you're doing will give you better results. The people you hang out with, if you love them, you'll 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 be a better person, right? So I think understanding is helpful, but you don't have to you don't have to know it all in order to receive the benefits. But just like exercise, if you don't do it, it doesn't work. So if I don't take the nutrients, it will not affect my, I won't get the benefit, no matter how awesome it is, okay? Um, so when you look at the formulas, and this was fascinating, so even with my dad, and you know, as a, I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm just weird like this, but like, um, as I started studying nutrition on my own, outside of what I learned growing up with my dad and like his formulas, I would take conferences and I'd listen to speakers and I'd read books, and I'm like, huh, my dad is smarter than I thought. <laughs> you know, just, <laughs> just as a son, right, you kind of banter, and I, I mean, you with that, but like, you're like, oh my gosh, like how he put that together that I get why he did that now, right? And and he's a, he's a brilliant in, in his own right in, in what he's learned and, and how he's put everything together and the people he's learned from. Um, but he, he, even though, you know, year to year to clinical practice and, and, you know, working with people individually and testing the way we did, we didn't have the ability that life bandage has and be able to test the cell. Like that's super unique. And, and when, when you can test the cell and the cell's response to the nutrients you give it and you see the end result, it's like you see the, the championship won before you start the game. Because you're not having to guess if that combination of nutrients is going to have a positive effect. You know because it's already been tested in the cells. So you put it in a human with trillions of cells and you get that similar response. That's truly why I feel that the results that we get that I've seen with my practice and my people um, – and why I have such confidence in what we do, it, it, it can be given to it can be given to anybody as a mammal. And, and, and that, that's why we're seeing the results we are because of the way these are formulated. Mm -hmm. um, so when it comes to Axio, there's two formulas. One has caffeine, one does not. 
The caffeinated formula has DMAE in it, all right, which is a very powerful brain nutrient. Um, the decaf does not. Now, the why behind that has to do with, you know, we're a global company um, and not all ingredients you can get in all places, right? So life and because we care about all humans across the planet, we wanted to be able to get formulas in to help people everywhere, okay? Both from a physical standpoint, but also give people, you know, that they want to, to build a business around helping people be healthy that have this option. Because brain health is huge, guys. Coffee consumption has dropped, energy drinks has skyrocketed. Soda drinking has dropped, energy drink has skyrocketed. That's telling you something that people are concerned about their energy, their, their energy that they think is their body energy, which is their brain energy. Mm -hmm. Axial is that solution. So when I use the difference I use, so people think, well, why did you give a caffeinated version to, to like maybe somebody that's oh, got too much energy, hyperactive, right? Can't focus. Well, you understand most of the medications that are given to individuals with ADD, ADHD are stimulant medications and they're methamphetamines. They're, they're meth-like, they're amphetamines. So that stimulates the excited brain. And a, a slow brain is a, a distracted brain. It sounds different, but so a slow brain is a distracted brain. So that's why kids bounce around and you know people bounce around and they, they're, because they have to bounce around to get their brain energy up to make a decision. When your brain gets slow, you can't make decisions, okay? So that's why the caffeinated version will be kind of my go-to most of the time because of both the DMAs in that. And I want that excited terrain that's there for your brain to be more alert. Now, th the time I will not do that is there are individuals that are just anxious by nature. They're just, they're, they just seem to be anxious. And those are ones that I'll typically start them with the decaf version. And because they'll tend to, they'll tend to do better. Now, this is something I'll say here. And I've had people say, well, when I take the decaf version, I feel tired. And, I, and I'll ask them this question. When's the last time you felt relaxed and calm? I don't remember. I said, guys, that is not tired. That is relaxed. So when your brain can finally cool down, you'll feel sometimes like tired, but relaxed where you want to you rest. Many people have not rested mentally. Their brain is always going. So when it finally cools down, their brain's like, dude, can we just take a nap? It won't be like that forever. So those mm -hmm. are a couple of things that I look for when talking about decaf and, and caffeinated version. I still remember when Harry gave the axial to her son. It wasn't, I didn't recommend it. Like I didn't know I didn't know anything about it yet. I just looked at it and said, why would you give a hyper, you know, child the energy drink? That was my mindset. And I as soon as I said that, I mean, within sex, I'm like, well, we give stimulant meds to kids all the time. Mm -hmm. um, but when when he had the brain nutrients designed to activate the cell, all of a sudden, all the stuff that was already in him, the things he'd been studying, the, the therapy he'd been doing, it started integrating. Because the cells couldn't communicate and coordinate before. Because you look at the ingredients, you'll things like things like um, L-theanine. L-theanine tend to, tend to be a calming nutrient, and they take DMAE, which tend to be more excitatory. So why would you put those together? Well, because when you put things together in the right way, in the right ratio, even in making a recipe, right, you may put a little bit of this and a little bit of that and a lot of this, and you get a very different result. Like really, look at the ingredients in a cookie. And, a, and, and like a bread, it's actually the same ingredients, but it's in different quantities. Yeah. And you actually bake it at different temperatures for different time. Without the oven, the activation of those nutrients does not happen. Right? So we talk about activation of the company. We understand when you put combination of nutrients in the right way, in the right way, and then you put it into the cells that are, have a, a natural innate intelligence in them, they can activate pathways in the body that are designed to work at certain levels. Many of our levels of those pathways are vastly underperforming, just like many people in school. They're underperforming because they just don't get it. But once they have a purpose or they feel like then their brain gets the need, all of a sudden now they're A students. Guess what? They're always A students. They weren't getting what they needed or didn't have the purpose that would drive them to that level. And so when you look at the combination of people, and I was that same way with when I looked at Protanum Nerve 2, I said, I looked at the ingredients and said, well, you don't look that special. Mm -hmm. Those are actually my word because I'm like, I, I just didn't get it, didn't understand at that time what activation really was and how they were testing the product. Like I knew glutathione was important, 
And, but I also knew we were having a hard time getting the body to absorb glutathione when we took it orally or topically. But when you, when you turn the switches on inside the cell to make it, they got a 300% increase by taking protein nerve two. That's a very different concept. So this is a lot of stuff that we talk about in Life Advantage, and I love being part of the Science Advantage Board because the, the people that are in that group, and really this is in, anybody in Life Advantage I've, I've met, like highly, highly intelligent people, right? And we're all trying to like, how do we improve the function of our, of our clients? Um, when we have the ability to understand that Life Advantage is making products designed to enhance the natural inborn ability of the body to perform, and we're not having to guess if it's working and we're knowing that it's safe and effective and we have then studies to back it up you have a different confidence level not only in recommending it but helping people teach about it um because right now this world needs like better tools like the one thing that we don't really understand that dr bredesen talked about and also dr amen talks about is a toxic burden that it, we're being exposed to that's around you all the time your body is constantly filtering that out here i'm in arizona there's been a chemical type fire going on for the last almost week here. I walk out every morning, I smell it, and I know full well that that craps, that your my body has to clean that up. Yeah, I can smell it, but imagine what your body is doing to try to clean those cells up. So many of the things that, the reason why people don't perform well is their body's so full of gunk that they're putting into their bodies. Your body is constantly burning your nutrients up that some of them you aren't even getting mm -hmm. to try to get rid of that. So foundationally, going back to like Axial, it's just a game changer because it's such a huge need. We need brain nutrition and we need it to be designed to activate the brain's ability to learn, remember, recall. Because what that means is that gives that person the ability to be focused and learning, which goes into confidence. My own nephews, two of them, this has changed what they feel they're capable of doing. Right? One of them was. One of them was on meds, right? And on several meds, he's off meds. Now he's gonna he's gonna graduate on time at the post a year behind like he was gonna. Right? Because her because his mom's consistency of giving him the axio and and the other, you know, the activators to where now he caught up to where he was. And he is his confidence and his, his confidence in himself. And what he'll be able to do and knowing he'll be able to hold a job down and be able to have a successful relationship because his brain performed differently. So yeah, the products are amazing scientifically, guys, but what, what we want to do is have that human experience because I want people, my own kids included, to have the confidence to know that they can be successful and have their brain. And that had a lot had to do with a healthy brain and healthy body. So people are trying right now, and I don't care what book you read. It won't do you any good unless you do the activities that you learn. And so when it comes to the actual, I love that it's easy. Like I can, and this is especially for guys. This is that Christ Interdator pack, right? Guys can do this. They don't even have to open a bottle. <laughs> right? I'm not kidding. Like if you don't make it simple for a guy, they're just flat not going to do it. Right? There are a few of us that will, right? This just just kind of like, one of our, who we are. That's probably a Jesse. Like he'll open 10 bottles, right? But a guy, look, do this pack. Can you handle that? Yeah. Okay. Do this drink. Can you handle that? Yeah. Oh, by the way, come a little packaging, come with you. Right. And you can do it as your pre workout if you want. And it, they can be successful because workouts over time changes the physiology of the person where you can see the tone change. Nutrients to your brain and body over time changes the physiology or the tone of that system. The more efficient it becomes, the, the, the more productive it becomes. And so I love that Life Vantage has made it easy for me to be successful by using little packets and little drinks. Because before, like, and I still work with clients a couple of days a week, you have people coming up with big major problems and they're already struggling. The simpler you can make it, the better. Um, and knowing I'm activating big systems, I know I'm doing a big bulk of the things I need to do by doing these simple things and then adding things to it from there. Yeah, you, you, you've mentioned a couple of times, and I love this. You, there's a couple of, I mean, you've dropped nuggets throughout this whole thing. You keep referring back to systems, and you made a you made a comment earlier about don't don't treat the problem or don't treat the symptoms, but treat the system, the way the body's actually working. And 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 a minute ago, you actually you, you said something great about axial, but it's really 
about, or maybe you said it about Nerf too, but it really applies to all of our activating products is, is helping the cells innate ability of what that cell was intended to do, right? Because if you can do that, and this, that like, anyways, we've used this a couple of times and, and Dr. Jessica Bueller used this, right? Focus on the cell, because if you focus, right? If you can in, influence the cell, you can influence tissue. If you can influence the tissue, you can influence organs. If you can influence the organs, you influence the system. And if you influence the system, you can influence the whole human. And if we carry that through to what you've just taught us, we've influenced that whole that whole human to have greater confidence and greater an ability in what they're doing. And like all of us, I believe that all of us inherently inside of us, we want to make a difference. We want to make an impact. We want to have an impact and influence on those around us and those we serve. But the fact that you can take a product and get a child to use it consistently or an adult or whomever to use it consistently and improve their brain health so that they have greater confidence, greater ability to learn, remember, and recall, right? Those executive functions. You you have made a massive improvement on a on a person's life, right? That that's remarkable. That's that's incredible. Um, talk to us about about uh, um, about systems. Why is that? Yeah. Why is that so important? I like the way you put that too, Jenny, because. Um, our culture is taught to look at syst symptoms, not systems, right? It, it, it's, it's, it's kind of how we function. Oh, well, you know, he's not doing well in school or, you know, he's got a headache. You can have 20 people have a headache and have it have 10 different reasons why they have a headache. So if you're not treating the cause of the problem, if you're not addressing the cause of the problem, so you think about it, like, let's just take a headache for instance, like, Let's say 10 people walk in my office, they all have headaches, or 10 of you have headaches. And I ask you the question, so when do they start? One might say, well, you know, I'm going through divorce. Um, one of you might say, well, you know, I was playing football, I got hit in the, hit in the head. One might say, well, I haven't drinking much water. Um, one might say, you know, um, I just, just, had, just had a baby, I feel, I feel super depleted, right? You're going to find probably 10 different reasons why they, their body is giving them the symptom of the headache. So why do we give the same treatment? Why do we give the same over-the-counter treatment? And by the way, that over-the-counter treatment, guys, over-the-counter treatment, ibuprofen or whatever it might be, is to reduce inflammatory cascades. So that should be a heads up. Almost all processes that are not good for the body lead to inflammatory processes. So the system that regulates inflammation is known as the NRF2 system. That's why we find such unique results with people taking protanum nerf 2, because it's upregulating or improving the system that regulates inflammation. Right now, we still want to go back to the cause, like, okay, we're well, not drinking water, let's drink some water. Or, hey, you're in a stressful relationship. Have you, are you working with a counselor? Like, Finding the, the, a solution to decrease the stress on that system is also super important, but understand the symptom is a manifestation of a system that's struggling. And I, I love listening to Dr. Jessica Bueller and stuff talk about it. You know, we kind of, we, the, we're both, we're both parallel, so we take a lot of the same trainings. Um, but that's that idea of like understanding, like, let's go back to the system. What, where is the hang up in the system? Yeah. And if you can address that and just know all that leads to, so typically two, you think, Every stress in your body will do a couple of things. One, it'll lead to an inflammatory cascade. Two, it'll put a strain on your mitochondrial function. Yeah. And so if you can improve those two systems, how your body makes energy, how it recycles stuff, which is called autophagy, and how you can improve the inflammatory cascade or the system that controls that or regulates that, that's the trisynergizer. That's why those that product is so brilliant because it helped address those systems. And then let's work backwards because the thing is, I can do this really easy, have people take that, or then I know I'm, I'm improving that system. And then we can work on, okay, where, is the, where are the stressors come from? Let's pull that off that. Let's say work on the diet. Let's work on your stress management skills. Let, let's work on the, the aspect of where your toxicity is coming from. Let's still work on that. But if I can break this, break the system at the same time and then give the supported nutrients, just like Bredesen says, like 
controlling inflammation, and then just giving your body the supportive nutrients that it needs. You know, I don't care how bad you want something in the store. If you don't have the money to buy it, you ain't getting it. Yeah. So no matter how bad your cells want to get better, if they don't have the supporting nutrients to manufacture the money, like they're, they, they cannot, number one, they cannot, they cannot get better, but they cannot go on vacation. The way I look at what we do is the state you're in right now is a result of what you've been doing for the last five years, right? Or more like with the cancer, when it shows up, guys, it's been that process many times been going on in your body five plus years. It's just your body can't keep up with it eventually it shows up. So in chiropractic, we call we we say we we want to look for the 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 disease, the lack of ease in a system. Address the disease because a lack of ease leads to dysfunction. Dysfunction over a long period of time leads to disease. All right. So when you think about a relationship, like if you have like disease in a relationship and the communication breaks down, eventually it's that relationship's going to get worse and worse until there's actually breakdown. Your cells are no different. And so what we want to do is we want to get the body back in a state of ease. And if you, if you stay there a long period of time, you, you, you first remove the dysfunction, whether it, it, it functions better. And then the body, when it's functioning better, repair can take place. People think, well, I'm, I mean, if I don't have symptoms, I'm fine. No, no. When you have symptoms, that's the end stage. Like when you have symptoms, it means you're already having dysfunction. And that dysfunction may have been there for a while, so however long you've had that symptoms. So once you get the body back out of symptoms in a state of function, then repair happens, just like in a relationship. Once you've kind of like back communicating again, it's going to take a while to rebuild that relationship, the, the trust. Think of it, the trust. The trust is the rebuild phase, right? That's the rebuild phase. And so in your body, your organs, your glands, your tissue, let's just say a break of the bone, we know that break of the bone is going to remodel for 12 months, give or take. Mm -hmm. But even once, we know once the cast is off, it's still not like robust. So think of that in an organ, a gland, or a tissue is you have to, one, get the system working, get the body out of a state of dysfunction, back into a state of ease, into a state of repair, stay that way long enough. That's why people, you know, we know from like the protein of nerve two, um, we see that oxidated stress level drop by, you know, 40% you know, in 30 days, up to 70% in three months. So, but what if you stayed like that month over month over month over year over year? You're going to be in a repair cycle more often, which means the longevity, which we saw in the longevity study in, in the mice, is it was a 7% increase in lifespan, right, over a 10-year period of time. But that's because not because it was magical. It's just the systems were communicating and coordinating and repairing more frequently to where there was less demise. Yeah. And so that's foundationally what we do at Life Vantage. So with the Axial, that's allowed us to be very specific on brain health. And the, the nerve, the, the trisynergizer, the vitality stack allows us to do it from a whole body perspective. And then like the AMPM, that's making sure you're getting all the little micronutrients you're getting that you maybe are not getting from your diet, which most of us do not yeah, um, yeah. get from their diets. You know, that, that, that I love that the way you've explained dis-ease and it's really about creating that environment of ease so that it addresses dysfunction. That, that, that is... In a nutshell, that is what activation is all about, right? It's it's the science of creating health, not preventing illness. So we're creating an environment where the body is naturally healthy um, and is able to to operate as it was intended as it, as it was intended to do. Um, I love that. So let's. Uh, I could spend hours uh, talking and listening to you. Let's um, but let's 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 wrap this up. Maybe a couple of a uh, couple of recommendations. Um, it's summertime. You made mention of this a minute ago. Give us your top five ways, top three ways or five ways, to consume Axio during the uh, during the summer months. So these players are fun. So if, if you have, I have, we have four kids. Um, they're all older now, but they're still kids, right? Um, and but there's some some unique ways to get so. People right now give their, their kids like, you know, treats right in the summertime. And so all the time with Axial, there's a couple of ways I'll use to get down people. Like number one, I'll put it in smoothies. Super easy. I can put the Axial in a smoothie and they can drink it throughout the day. Super easy to get it down. them. Um, I can mix it with a prebiotic or probiotic, right? Um, the other thing I do, I make popsicles. Like, I mean, I'm in Arizona. It's hot, guys. It's hot, hot, right? So whether you want to mix it with a fruit juice or by itself, 
um, very easy to put it in there. I've had moms put put it in Jello. Uh, they'll just take and they you know mix it up in like a you know and, and don't put like use like a like a Jello that's not like got preserved and dyed sugar. In it, guys. Yeah, we don't want that. But like you can put that in there and then just keep it in the fridge. And so if they just want something sweet, great. Real easy way to get that down them. I've had even people make gummy bears out of them. Like just like you know use it just a, a, a sweetened gelatin if you want to add some honey to it, great. Or it's actually the actual sweet anyway. Mm -hmm. um, easy way to to find it, to get these nutrients into into the into into the kids or into the adult men, right? Mm -hmm. um, they're not always the easiest. So there's some simple simple ways um, that I like to you know put in the kids. And here's the thing is, uh, people say, well, my kid's picky. Well, guess what? Most kids are until they're not. But also when they're picky, that tells you that their brain is struggling. Okay, they call it sensory overload. Well, that's because the brain needs nutrients. Mm. Okay, we might have to become creative, right, in helping them become healthy, but that's our job as their parents, right? If they, if, if we don't do it, I know some are harder than others, right? Do your best. And it's not about what, you, it's not about being, it's not about being 100 successful every day. It's about having little wins along the way. Right. And so, you, you know, start adding these couple these products in where you can, where they get in a use of that because it's new to maybe new to you, maybe new to them. But guys, I grew up from the time I was little swallowing pills because that was normal in my house. That's just, I thought everybody did it. I thought everybody got adjusted by a carpet. I thought people didn't eat sugar. I thought that was normal. <laughs> Apparently I'm not normal. Okay. So the American diet is called this called the standard American diet. It's called the sad diet, right? So if you don't want to feel sad, you need to change what you're doing compared to most other people, right? And so that it comes to the same the nutrients. Now, a lot of this is new. My other is different, right? That's that's okay. You know, if this is this is you know this is not about being like everybody else. It's about you deciding how you want to perform and how you want to function. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love it. Uh, the sad diet. Don't be sad. Change. Uh, it, that interesting, interesting advice right there at the end, right? Create the environment, foster that environment within your home with your kids. Start while they're young. And uh, if that's their reality, then uh, that will be their reality into adulthood. That's that's fantastic and great advice for all of those who are of us with kids or, or, or grandkids. So thank you. Um, for what it's worth, slushy is my go-to, right? Crush up the ice. Cold water, drop in the axio, stir it up, a little bit of stevia every once in a while, just because I have a, a vanilla stevia that's fantastic. Uh, and that's it. And I, I love it. And it's refreshing during the during the summer. Should I do the soda stream yet? No. Done that. That's good. So I'm like, okay. so I did a, I do like a, the axio. Yeah, and mm. I do this, I put soda stream. So I have like a bubbly axio. That's pretty yummy. Little bubbly axio. That's perfect. Well, uh, Brett or Dr. Brimhall, if I was being formal, which I never am, uh, this has been fantastic, super, super helpful, great, great advice. We need to do this more often. We need to, what we need to do is we need to get together and we need to record like multiple podcast episodes because uh, you are a wealth of knowledge and information and just a tremendous influence. And, and I, uh, I really, really genuinely admire and appreciate you. So thank you for taking the time to do this. Uh, I speak for everybody that's watching. We really, really appreciate it. Uh, last question. Pineapple, coconut, or watermelon mint? Well, me, pineapple, coconut. My wife and kids love the watermelon mint. Interesting. So same it's tough. Same. Like, it's a tough call. Like it's, It is but... the exact same scenario at my house. Yeah. I am all about the pineapple, coconut. But my wife. Re it's refreshing. Like, it's like I wasn't excited about the flavor, the thought of the flavor. But they're both like really refreshing. Like I love the lake, yeah. but like this is my go-to, man. I go to the lake. It's like this game on. Like it's awesome. I love it. I love it. I love it. Well, again, Brett, thank you for everybody that's with us tonight. Thank you so much for joining and for watching. We hope that this was uh, informational and educational, and uh, for you, I'm confident that it was. Um, again, questions, comments down below. We'll make sure that we get to those. Thanks for joining us. We're going to do this again in two weeks. Uh, we've got a special guest that will be joining us in two weeks. We're going to be talking about uh, our NAD, uh, Protandum NAD formula, and some ongoing research associated with that product. So 
Uh, be sure and tune in in a couple of weeks. But until then, thank you, Brett. Thanks for being part of this today. And, and thanks for, for blessing us with your, your information. For everyone else, have a great evening. And we will see you back here in a couple of weeks.